Hi everyone, welcome back to Dream Drop Distance. I'm back where we left off and I'm ready to uh, go help uh, fight that dragon thing that's heading to the cathedral. So, let's go do it. what I thought. Shield cookie. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Now that I'm not running from a, uh, a dragon, I can get the stuff that's around here. Sleep, you nasty. Yeah. All right. Woo! Hell yeah. All right, now I can grab this. Peace. Potion. Oh, oh, almost missed you. Shield good. Lovely. Could have gone either of the ways. Just checking that in A. Miss anything? There it is. my sliding dash. Okie dokie. Oh, it seems I think I went backwards. Yes, I did. <laughs> my bad. victory in 20 seconds or less. Okay, let's try it again. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> oh my god! I was like stuck on them! <laughs> oh my god! Ayo, hey, what the heck? I got stuck on them. Oh, I've got to re get all these. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> You're done. 
Now it is karma on this bridge than it was last time. Rhino gun? I guess so. get out there the quickest. we go. Okay. Oh boy. Everything's on fire. <laughs> Ooh. We're, we're ablaze, aren't we? The dragon done did it. 
Thunder. Yeah, I might get that. Beautiful. Save. Let's let's see what's going down. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is she going to be all right? I'm fine. Thanks to Quasimodo. Quasimodo. Where did the creature go? It's it's up there. Right. Oh boy. Wait. Wait, I'll go with you. No, no, get to safety. Thanks. But stay with her. Quasimodo. Did your heart have the answer? <laughs> Follow the nightmare up to the roof. <laughs> well, I guess you three got this covered. It was a walk in the park. How would you know? You don't have any legs. It was a hop yeah, in the but... park. Oh, give me a break. Is this a figure of speech? Both of you pipe down and get ready, because here comes some more. <laughs> Off they go. <laughs> so cute. It's up there. That way still gated off. So we'll go this way. <laughs> yes, let it burn. The flames will consume everything. Whoosh. You see? Fine. This is the power that has been granted to me. I see a sad old man with a dark heart. <laughs> Period. Again, you are wrong. Now you will be judged. Just like the rest. Judgment is mine. He's gone. <laughs> You're Ansem. Oh, shoot. Why are you here? Your best friend is never far. So sad. The cost of yielding to the darkness. You could write a book about that. <laughs> but I embrace the darkness. And unless you hurry up and learn to do the same, your story will end just like his. I walk the road to dawn. Still afraid of the dark, I see. Hmm. Wait! <laughs> he thinks I'm afraid of the dark? So we're able to both be here. No. It's so interesting. Not while I have the Keyblade. It will guide me to the light. Right, let's fight a dragon. Defeat wall, go a leap off the cathedral, and you can ride the heart blasts. Oh. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, no. My heal didn't work. Oh, boy. Okay, come on. Oh, no, no. Going the wrong way. Hello. I can't see what's going on. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. I can't move. There we go. Shiver me timbers. Oh boy, the time is running down as well. Uh oh, it's not what I need. Dang it, I'm not gonna have enough time. Okay. Alright, I left in the middle of the fight. <laughs> But that's okay. Hopefully I'll be able to, I don't know, continue. Okay. Yes. Okay. Heading back to... Oh wait, am I meant to be heading out that way? I think about this way. Oh. Hell yeah. Beautiful. Sliding by. Gorgeous. Yeah. Ooh. What one was this? Ah. Cool. Hey, yeah. Ha. Ha. Yeah. Yeah, we've got an elephant. Oh, that's, that's again not what I wanted. There we go. Magic increased. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Whew. Yeah, 
I didn't see that pink dot on the mini map. Okay. So where am I meant to go? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just double check. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I've gone the correct way. <laughs> oh, here we go. My bad. Oh no, but it still leads up to the same place, right? Hmm. Block at least three enemy attacks. All right, let's do this. Oh my god, are we gonna eat me up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Oh. Attack me, sir. 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, got it. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. this and then that's creepy we enter through there Ooh. Ooh. find the secret passage keep moving oh creepy Which way do I go? Let me try this way first. Okay, good. It's a dead end. Yeah, yeah. Wait, oh. Ah, okay. It's not a dead end. Oh, good job, fellas. I can't see very much. the other way first. Okay, so I'll have to smash the trap. Can do, but let me have a look where this leads. Ah, okay. all the mist yeah the mist is gone okay cool well then let's head up that direction cool Huh. 
kind of seems to stop. Oh, there we go. Ooh, and what do I have here? Yes. Katanuki recipe. That sounds very good. Okay. And now, I guess I could head on to the ground level. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> so oh, cool. They found another door. I shall get there. Let me just do some feeding. Oh, you already got it. Beautiful. Okay, let me just explore the rest of the floor and I'll come right back. Ooh. Hey! Good thing I'm exploring. Sleeper. Sleeper. That sounds great. Oh, I don't have sleep, as is, but I'll replace... Yeah. Beautiful. Huh. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Found me another secret. Continue. Oh, it's so dark. Is there anything this way? No. It's not a different area of the graveyard. Okay. Hell yeah. Fred and I level enough. Cool. Shoot. Anyone else? Oh. Yeah. Chest. Yeah. Oh. Aha. And now we go in here. We're going like above and below ground through different parts. I like it. Find the secret passage. Windmill. Oops, it's not spirits. Is fire windmill a move? Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, and I need to make sure with Sora that I add everything that I haven't. Okay. 
Okay, so it doesn't go there. There we go. Ah, uh, that's why I didn't have freaking aerial recovery on him. My bad. But now I finally do. Cool. Okay. So, there was that, and then there was this one. Spirit in a set. <laughs> we'll get popped back to the two rhinos. Lovely. Cool. Alright, so let's start again. We got this. That's what I needed, is to club with my, my friends. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh boy. Oh, baby, we got him. We got him. We got him. First try, technically, because the other one I was, I was, uh, out, uh, from the drop. I was dropped out. <laughs> Okay, Chronicle. Kingdom Hearts. Sora, Riku, and Kairi had always dreamed of the outside world. On a beach in the Destiny Islands, the three friends began building a draft. A, a draft? A raft. One day, a stranger in a brown robe confronted Sora and told him, this world has been connected. That night, the islands were hit by a storm and engulfed by darkness. Sora found himself in a position of a in the possession of a mysterious key-shaped sword called a keyblade, and was separated from Riku and Kairi. Other worlds had met the same fate and more would. Meanwhile, the king of Disney Castle had gone missing. His closest subjects, Donald and Goofy, set off to find someone with a key, just as their liege's farewell letter had instructed. Sora had awoken in a place called Traverse Town, and it was there that it was there he learned what was expected of a Keyblade wielder. He joined forces with Donald and Goofy, and the trio continued their search for Riku, Kairi, and King Mickey. Each world they visited had revealed a keyhole, which led to the heart of each world, and created and creatures called heartless manifestations of darkness within us were trying to get at it. With keyblade in hand, Sora took down the heartless and locked the keyholes. Manipulating the heartless were Maleficent and her league of villains. Maleficent had tricked Riku into helping her gather the pure hearts of seven princesses who would grant her dominion over all worlds. By the time Sora caught up with Riku and Hollow Bastion, his friend had succumbed to darkness, but a good thrashing only made things worse. The defeated Riku was possessed by Ansem, seeker of darkness. Sora defeated Maleficent and found himself face to face with this greater threat. Ansem was trying to complete the keyhole to a doorway that led to the heart of all worlds, Kingdom Hearts. After discovering Kairi's heart was inside him, Sora tried to release her and turned into a heartless, but the light in Kairi's heart changed him back. Sora knew he had to close the final keyhole. As a parting gift, Kairi gave him a good luck charm made of thalassa shells to ensure a safe vo voyage. Sora promised he would return it someday, then set off. He followed Ansem all the way to the heart of the darkness that had swallowed the worlds and defeated him, but Kingdom Hearts alre had already been opened. Sora, Riku, oh, oh that's why I was like, why did it completely restart? There we go, that's it. Oh, it's dark. Okay, there we go, because I kept going too low. Sora was able to close the door again with the help of Riku and King Mickey, who stayed trapped in the realm of darkness on the other side. Sora decided not to return to his home world and began a new journey with Donald and Goofy to find Riku and the king. Master Frollo, he made me live inside the bell tower. But the real walls were the ones I built around my heart. You helped me see that, Riku. I was... speaking from... personal experience. I'd say you still keep a lot locked inside. We all do that sometimes. There are just some things we need to keep separate from the world at large. At least until we have time to figure them out. I know the road my heart walks. 
Good job, Riku. Guardian Bell, a keyblade with long reach that provides an extra boost in magic. Dang, so I wonder now whether I should make the boys go to separate worlds from each other, or once again go to the same world. Send Riku to this one. Let's dive. Open. I did it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Hey, it's Tron's world again. <laughs> My clothes. Is this world special? A dream eater. No. Let's see how this plays out. Are you a prisoner? Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> you? Name's Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm Riku. Where are we, Sam? We're on the grid. Cool. The grid. I haven't seen any Tron movies, so I'm so sorry if once again I don't get any references. <laughs> Other than I know the like motorbike racing, that's about it. You're in luck. Mm -hmm. Only a precious few are granted light cycle battle privileges. Mm -hmm, thanks. You gonna explain why it's so lucky? I'll show you. How hard can it be? <laughs> oh my god, am I going straight into it? <laughs> okay, light cycles. Use the light cycles ribbons and projectiles to de-res your opponents as you complete the objective. Use X to fire projectiles at enemies in front. The ribbon will de-res opponents to your rear. Uh, press square to switch between your ribbon and projectiles. Else you can only do one at a time. Okay. Oh. 
Haha! <laughs> Got him. There's new ones. Better with the, the back end rather than the front. Oh, there we go. I don't know what side is on. Oh boy. Ooh, hello. They disappeared, so weird. Oh boy, now I can come. Oh boy. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, with the beeping, uh, with the beeping health, I got him. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, I didn't kill him, he just flew away, but I won. I think I've had enough entertainment for one day. Shape. That's so cute. Make my own way out. Riku! You made it. You escaped from the games. <laughs> yeah. I know a way off the grid. Wanna come with? No. You go ahead. Wait. What's the way out? Through the portal. Portal? Yeah, it's like a gate that opened when I came here. Once I'm back in the real world, I can delete Clue. And then, then my dad will be able to come home. Your dad? He vanished 20 years ago when he came here to the grid. Oh, damn. But because he needed to protect his disc from Clue, he went into hiding. He's been trapped there ever since. But I'm going to change that. Hmm. I see. Sam, you mind if I go with you after all? To the portal? Sure. I'll take what help I can get. All but first, right. there's somebody I need to meet. He's in the city. Cool. Reality shift code break. Press the buttons next to the codes. 
Press the buttons next to the glowing words to trigger the code. Reality shift code break. Manipulate your foes, manipulate the environment. Each code has a different effect. Father and son. I tried to get back, but I, I couldn't get to the portal. It uses massive power and it can't stay open forever. And like a safe, it, it can only be open from the outside. It closed on me, Sam. That's why I never came home. So the portal, it activated when I came in. So it's open now. Not for long. Only one millicycle. About eight hours. So we go now. We go home. We make a run for it. We get you Sam, out of here. Don't rush. What do you mean, don't rush? The portal's gonna close. It looks My like a disc Jedi. is everything, Sam. It's the master key. The golden ticket. The way out. And not just for me. What do you mean? Our worlds are more connected than anyone knows. Clue figures if I can be in... He can be out? With my disc, it's possible. And then what? Game over. The guy doesn't dig in perfection. What's more imperfect than our world? I can't let that happen. I won't. So what do we do? Nothing? It's amazing how productive doing nothing can be. Clue is planning something. We've known that for a while. It's his game now. The only way to win is not to play. Yeah, well, that's a hell of a way to live. But it is a way. Sometimes life has a way of moving you past things like wants and hopes. That's great, Dad. Keep telling yourself that. Damn. Good night, Sam. Okay, so he managed to see his dad. That's good. Alright, I'm gonna save. And I'm also gonna drop back to Sora. Thing I can jump on. Cool. Um. Oh, cool. Esmeralda's there. I thought there would be more chests. But alas. <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> Quasimodo? What are you doing here? Phoebus and I came to warn you. Frollo's on his way. Take what you can and flee. Well <laughs> done, Captain Phoebus. Thankfully, you are every bit as predictable as I had hoped. Mm. 
dear Quasimodo, I always knew you would someday be of use to me. <sighs> I have you at last, you witch. There'll be a bonfire in the square. No! Please, Master! Huh. Frollo! Mm -hmm. I won't let you do this! What happened? No! What knocked me Quasimodo? out? Esmeralda! Phoebus! He's taking her to a bonfire in the square. I gotta hurry! Esmeralda! Alright, Frollo. You wanna mess? Mess with me. Sanctuary! Feet war goil. Go. <laughs> Big stomping time. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, oh. Oh, shoot us. There we go. Oh no! You dropped on my heel. Oh hell yeah! Thanks, guys. Okay. Whoopa, please. Yeah, 
So close, I was doing so good. Oh my god, it was just the one move. I can totally do this. Let's bring him over to this side where there's less chaos. Let's start with the one stomp. Oh my god. Lost my heal. Oh yeah. Mamacita, oh, oh. Beautiful, we did it. Whew. Okay. I should have known you'd risk your life to save that gypsy witch. Just as your own mother died in her pitiful attempt to save you. What? Now, I'm going to do what I should have done 20 years ago! Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> and he shall smite the wicked and plunge them into the fiery pit forever! We see him die two different ways, but I guess, yeah, the alternate worlds. Quasimodo! Quasi! No! No! Uh. 
Quasimodo, you can't let your heart be a- I know. I can't blame Frollo for putting walls around me. It wasn't the walls that were holding me back. Hmm. But my heart is free now. I'm ready to really see what's out there. All that time, Quasimodo let himself be trapped inside the nightmares Frollo gave him. He looks like Ansem. You are the one who has made your heart a prison. You again! What are you talking about? Even if you are not the prisoner. He's seeing huh? Vanitas. What? That's crazy. Trying to convince him that Roxas is like a prisoner in his heart. My heart's a prison? Don't let him convince you. You now chronicle birth by sleep. Birth by sleep. Master Xehanort had decided to abandon his pupil Ventus on the Destiny Islands. The boy's heart was fractured, useless. But his heart was sa saved when a new heart found Ventus and helped him fill the void. Several years passed and Ventus forgot what had happened. He had found a new home in the land of departure a sacred ground defended by a long line of keyblade masters there he met two other youths named aqua and terra and together they trained with master ericus to become keyblade masters both aqua and terra should have been named keyblade masters but master xehanort intervened convincing ericus to test his pupils with a mark of mastery examination while aqua passed the test terra did not creating a rift between him and his friends Shortly after they after came tidings of unversed, strange creatures that thrived on negativity, and Master Xehanort had broken off all communication. Terra left to solve both mysteries. Ventus ran away to be with his friend. As for Aqua, Ericus tasked her with keeping Terra under surveillance and bringing Ventus home as soon as possible. Thus their journey began. During Terra's travels, Master Xehanort whittle, whittled away at the young man's ethics, convincing him that the darkness and light were equally important, and that a balance must be kept. Elsewhere, Ventus met Mickey, another trainee, and found himself crossing Keyblades with a mysterious masked boy named Vanitas. The three friends were reunited in Radiant Garden, but too much had changed. Terra felt betrayed by Ericus and Aqua, and retreated deeper into Xehanort's clutches. Ventus sided with Terra and ran off again, uh, and Aqua was left to deal with a mixture of guilt, concern, and love. Guided by a fate, perhaps, Terra arrived at the Destiny Islands and met Riku. He decided to bequeath the power of the Keyblade to his little boy. To this little boy, not his little boy, who reminded him so much of himself. Sometime after, Aqua visited these same islands and discovered what Terra had done. She too found a kindred spirit in Riku's friend Sora and told the boy to stick by his friend and guide him even though even through the darkest of times. 
Ventus had made a discovery of his own. While rescuing Mickey, he was confronted by Master Xehanort and learned of his connection to a weapon called the Keyblade. Ventus returned to Master Ericus in search of answers about his past, but the truth was a disaster waiting to happen, and Master Ericus had no choice but to lock his pupil's heart away to keep that disaster contained. Terra arrived just in the nick of time and battled his master to protect his friend, but this was exactly what Master Xehanort had hoped for. Terra watched in horror as his new mentor struck the weakened Ericus down. He had been fooled. Terra tried to move Ventus someplace safe, the Destiny Islands, but Vanitas, the boy with the mask, was already there. Join with me. Become the Keyblade, he said, and then Ventus remembered the truth. Vanitas was a part of him, the darkness which had been extracted from his heart. Led by Destiny, Terra, Ventus, and Aqua assembled in the Keyblade graveyard. In the distance, Master Xehanort and Vanitas appeared. A violent clash ensued, and at the end of it, Terra's body was possessed by Xehanort. Meanwhile, Ventus, having been forced into a clash with his counterpart, Vanitas, chose the destruction of them both to prevent the Keyblade from being forged. In the aftermath, Mickey was able to rescue Aqua and Ventus, but Ventus would not wake, and Terra was nowhere to be found. Aqua's journey was not over. Aqua recalled her master's teachings. After finding a safe place for Ventus to rest, she locked the land of departure, which would eventually uh, come to be known as Castle Oblivion. Ventus's heart had been nearly snuffed out, so he retreated to the safety of Sora's heart, the same new heart that had saved him once before. Aqua found and confronted Xehanort, who had possessed Terra's body. After a long fight, Aqua dove into the darkness and sacrificed herself to usher Terra back to the realm of light. Aqua wandered the realm of darkness for a decade, oh my god, before meeting a stranger there. This stranger told her about a certain boy who had become the saviour of all worlds. When Aqua heard the boy's name, tears filled her eyes and face beamed with hope. Guardian Bell. Hey Axel, you haven't forgotten. Hmm? What? You made us a promise. I did? That you'd always be there. To bring us back. Yeah. Got it memorized? <laughs> Best friends forever. Mm. Where? What happened to me? Roxas. That's me. Dylan. Alias. Okay. Kevin. He's saying all of their non-organization names. Yeah. Lee. Oh. We are people again. But only the ones who joined the organization here. Oh. I guess Xehanort doesn't count. But where are Bragg and... Isa? Ooh, they're people again. Dark intervention. What the heck? 358 over two days. When Roxas first became part of the organization, he spent his days on missions, collecting hearts, and befriending another member named Axel. However, when Axel was sent to Castle Oblivion on a special mission, Roxas teamed up with the organization's new 14th member, a girl named Gion. Slowly, the two warmed to each other. Once Axel returned from his mission, he, Roxas, and Gion developed a routine of ending each busy day by having ice cream atop the twilight town clock tower. There, they talked about work, friendship, their memories, and the meaning of a heart. One day, Gion was ordered to dispatch an imposter Riku who had donned the organization's robes to protect Sora, but Gion was overpowered and told her Keyblade was a sham. After failing a second mission, she slipped into a coma. When Gion finally awoke, Roxas's daily routine resumed a kind of normalcy, but something in his friend had changed. Slowly, Gion began to question her own existence. 
Day 255, Gion visited Castle Oblivion and discovered what she was. Roxas waited for Gion at the clock tower, but she never came. The next day, he learned she had deserted the organization. Roxas tracked her down and tried to convince her to return, but Gion drew her keyblade threateningly. It was only once uh, Axel appeared that he and Roxas were able to bring her back by force. After learning some of the truth about Gion, Roxas found his own existence thrown into question. He lost faith in Axel and the organization who had kept so much hidden from him and decided to run away. Meanwhile, Gion had tracked down a girl named Namine and decided to return her share of Sora's memories to their owner. Axel hunted her down and made a double-edged promise. Keep running, I'll always be there to bring you back. After barely managing to keep that promise, Axel collapsed and Xemnas, the organization's leader, took Gion away. Aimlessly, Roxas found himself wandering toward the clock tower. There, Gion revealed herself to be not a her at all, but a faceless puppet that the organization had created, as a cage for Sora's memories. The last of those memories were inside Roxas, Sora's nobody, and she would have to take them from him to become a complete Sora replica. The two fought, and Gion got her wish. She was defeated. As the memories that made her up returned to Sora, she ceased to exist, and vanished from the minds of all who knew her. Confused and angry, Roxas decided to challenge Xemnas and the organization, free the hearts they had collected, and destroy Kingdom Hearts, but Roxas was not strong enough to win, and if he fell here, Sora would never awaken, so Riku confronted him. In his mind, Riku heard the last wish of a girl whose name he could no longer remember, to stop Roxas. He nearly failed and had to allow the darkness in his heart to take over before he was able to subdue Roxas. A boy named Roxas woke up in his room in Twilight Town after having another strange dream. Excited, he ran off to meet his friends at their usual spot. Only seven days of summer vacation left. Okay, I think it'd be too confusing if I went to a different world. Let's drop in here and then we can... Whoa! Use your speed. No idea how to hurt this thing. Okay, I might just let myself die here because I have no clue what I'm meant to do. Maybe what I'll do instead is world map and just go back here so I can save. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Alright, cool. Save. Alrighty. Cool. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will... I'm very excited to continue further with you all. As always, please do leave your tips. And I'm so sorry if I haven't gotten to your tips yet. I sometimes have to pre-film because there's only so many hours in a day. But yeah, 
Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.